stand, stand over there by the gate and let us present. Well, thank you for the permission. And uh, before you do your presentation, you can just tell us your name. All right, I'm Jim Walsh and Meyer Street Walsh Park. Thank you, sir. We've been very serious for since the beginning. Let's let a little humor just to relax us a little bit, and then I'll get on with my report, okay? okay? The nurse walked into the doctor's office. This is his doctor. There's a patient out there who thinks he's invisible. What should I tell him? Tell him I can't see him today. <laughs> we the people are powerless when it comes to addressing members of council. Let's level the pet playing field. Instead of the citizens sitting facing the council mayor, playing hide and seek behind them, I strongly urge the placement of a podium to the right of the council, which is where I'm standing. Chamber group as the audience views the member of council. This allows the council and the citizens to see the person speaking in full view as opposed to looking at their back. When speaking or listening to a speaker or viewing the advice audience, both parties can see the body language of both. This is and can be important. I strongly urge you to implement this format at the next council meeting. What's next on the council members' minds? Could we be expecting an admittance charge to attend these meetings to offset the cost of heating and lighting the building used after normal business hours? Let's say a dollar per person, a dollar fifty if you want to speak. I made it a point to visit the Department of Public Works facility last week. The purpose was to determine the number of flags that were displayed in Central City during patriotic observances. Many need to add to the number. I took my camera with me when I arrived at the facility. I asked an employee where I could see the flags. I was directed to a room that was filthy and cluttered. Then I entered another room equally as cluttered, and saw the flags thrown in a pile on top of trash. I am poorly mad. I then entered an adjoining room and saw our nation's flag buried among garbage bags and assorted flags stacked against the wall. I was furious. I thought, is this all our flag means to the people responsible for their care? I took one or two photos and left. You've seen the photos, I've passed some of them around, not in real ones, received them. You members of council, mayor and audience, have copies of what I witnessed to, to document what I described. I wanted to rush to City Hall and confront the mayor with what I witnessed. I thought, no. I'm going to present the evidence of what the, uh, at the next public council meeting. At least they're standing up. Several weeks ago, I displayed some 35 properties in photos before the council showing slum appearances. Two more can be added to the collection of, of disrespectful houses that I presented to you previously for a nation flag, and that would be the DPW facility. I'm going to tell you a true story that happened last week, so help me God, this is a true story. A grandmother and a five-year-old grandchild visited me last week. On my kitchen table were photos of the disgusting appearance of our nation's flag as you have before you, if you've seen some of them. The child looked at the photos and I asked her if she knew what she saw in the photos. She looked and with a quivering voice said, the American flag. Tears filled her eyes and sobbing said, I don't like the way the flags look. It's not nice. Six-year-old child. Well, recognize third, third something second. wrong with our flag. You have 30 seconds, sir. I just want to give you a little heads up. I, I, I told her I don't either. I asked what grade she was in. 
She said, first grade. Then I asked her, if she, her to recite the Pledge of Allegiance to the flag. No, I asked if they recite the Pledge of Allegiance to the flag in school. She said, yes. I asked if she would recite it for me, which she did. And with childless voice saying this, my country tis of thee, I choked up as she sang. Sorry, you have to finish, please. Mr. Walsh, I don't know if you heard me. I said you were over time, you have to finish quickly. Okay. I go to have another minute or so. About another 30 seconds. Please. I told her many people died in wars to keep our flag safe. I asked if she prayed in school and she nodded no. I then told her every morning when you wake up, say, I love you, God, keep me safe today. I then told her that God loves her and always will, and he wants us to love him. She nodded in agreement. I then presented her with the small American flag and with wide open eyes and smiles said thank you and said she would put it on her dresser in her bedroom and look at it every morning. Mr. Walsh. What a heartwarming sir. experience. Sir. I'll never forget it. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, sir. Appreciate it. But I just want to show one picture. What we're fighting for. There's a man with his legs off. His wife was carrying him piggyback so that she can, he can get around. And this is what they're doing to our flag. These men defend it. How many of you have seen sir, Mr. a mother? Walsh. Mr. Walsh. Mr. Walsh, we're Please. way over. We're way over. I, I Please. You I've heard other people speak yeah. here and I didn't interrupt. No. interrupt. Well, we, 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 we do have time constraints, sir. How many of you have seen Mr. a Walsh. mother, a widow, a grandmother, a wife? Mr. Walsh. When the flag Mr. is Walsh. presented to their deceased woman in the military funeral. Mr. Walsh, Mr. Walsh may have my five minutes. I grant it Mr. Walsh, to him. We cannot grandfather convey. Mr. Walsh, please. Grandfather please convey. Thank you. <laughs> Frank Swart, sir. Bill. Bill. Absolutely. Can I just ask a question? You can ask a question, sir.